Prior to the installation of any membrane filter, a visual inspection should first be conducted to detect any physical damage to the filter. Locate the open end of the filter and use scissors to cut away the end of the bag. If applicable, locate one of the rip zones and tear the bag open. Skin contact with the filter is to be avoided, so be sure to handle the filter through the bag throughout the entire installation process. Or, if easier, handle the filter with laboratory gloves and immediately dispose of the filter bags. Be sure the O-rings are not cracked, gouged, or deformed and they are properly seated in the filter connector grooves. When ready to install, first wet the filter O-rings for several seconds with sterile water, water, or isopropyl alcohol, depending upon the application and customer regulations. Rotate the filter to ensure all surfaces are wet. Because sufficiently wet filter O-rings are instrumental to proper installation into the housing base, it is imperative to install the filter into the housing base immediately after wetting the O-rings. To do so, hold the open end of the filter over an available receptor on the housing base. Be sure that the tabs on the filter connector are positioned such that they will not interfere with the housing brackets when the filter is lowered into the receptor. Note that it is critical to keep the filter in a position perpendicular to the housing base throughout the installation process. Attempting to insert the filter at an angle will likely result in damage to the connector on the filter which will render the entire filter useless. Placing both hands atop the closed end of the filter, lower the filter into the open receptor. There will be immediate resistance when the filter contacts the receptor. This is normal and required for the filter to function properly. Exert downward force while maintaining the filter in the perpendicular position. As the open end of the filter descends into the open receptor, a squeak from the O-rings may be audible and or the installer may feel the filter drop into place. Regardless if you hear or feel anything, view the interface of the filter connector and housing base. If the O-rings are not clearly visible, the filter is completely lowered into the receptor. Note that it is possible to have an O-ring dislodge from the filter connector groove and still be fully lowered into the receptor. In more obvious cases of a dislodged O-ring, the O-ring will be partially visible and the filter not be completely lowered into the receptor. Both examples will cause fluid bypass and are likely the direct result of failure to maintain the filter in the perpendicular position when lowering into the receptor. In either instance, the O-rings are likely damaged and both should be replaced, regardless of any evidence of physical damage. If the majority of one or both O-rings are visible, the filter was likely maintained in the perpendicular position during installation, but has not been completely lowered into the receptor. If this is the case, check the O-rings for physical damage or geometric deformation of their natural circular shape and replace if required. Next, re-wet the O-rings, line up the filter, and when exerting downward force, add a slight clockwise twist. This may assist in lowering the filter into the receptor. When it appears the O-rings are not visible and the filter fully lowered into the receptor, place both hands atop the closed end of the filter and rotate in the clockwise direction making sure to keep the filter in the perpendicular position. This will position the tabs on the filter connector beneath the housing brackets, locking the filter into place. Conversely, if extreme resistance is encountered when rotating the filter in the clockwise direction, stop. View the brackets on the housing base and ensure they are not interfering with the filter tabs on the connector. If there is interference, 
the filter is not completely lowered into the receptor. Exert downward force on the filter to fully descend into the receptor before proceeding. If too difficult, remove the filter and begin the entire process again. To recap, ensure the o-rings are wet, position the filter with the open end downward over an available receptor on the housing base with the tabs on the filter connector positioned away from the housing brackets. Exert downward force on the closed end of the filter while ensuring it remains perpendicular to the housing base. If having difficulty inserting, re-wet the o-rings and or exert slight clockwise force while pushing down on the filter. Ensure the tabs on the filter connector are beneath the brackets on the housing base. The filter is now properly installed into the housing and ready for use. If more specific detail regarding any part of this video is required, please contact 3M Purification Technical Support.